Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Living on a Trip. This week we leave Adele's Grows and we head to Burt Town where we spend our time camped up on the banks of the Albert River. We get the tinny back in the water and try to get some fish and let me tell you, without much luck. If you're enjoying our story, hit the like and subscribe button. Radio, let's go! So it's a bit of a bop bowl because um, yeah, we just found school out it's school holidays. So we're going over to the information centre, which must be over here. Yeah, I thought she said the little wooden building. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll see if we can, because um, all the camping here is. Um, what do you call it? Permit. So you've got to get a permit and um, yeah, pay to sort of camp on the river. So we'll um, yeah, nick in here and oh yeah, information centre. We'll see how um, see how we go. All right, we'll work something out. It's till three o'clock, so we've got another hour to wait, and we'll um, yeah, come suss it out. Time off our sleeves for the afternoon, we head off and check out some of the attractions of Burt Town. We stumble across the Ndonganali Hot Springs, situated just out of town. I hope I've said this right. Now these are not natural springs, it was actually drilled in the 1800s. Although the water is naturally heated by geothermal energy, it is not suitable for drinking or irrigation due to its mineral content. In the 1940s, it was actually used as a bathhouse but it had a tendency to burn the bathers at a scorching 68 degrees and trust me, it was really hot to touch. While we were there, we met a lovely local family that were kind enough to show us a tree that is used for bush tea and medicine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
What's this one do? Take away sickness. Does it? Yeah. Hand suffers or... So what do you, um... What do you do with it? How do you like it? Oil it and it come out like black tea. Oh, okay. And you drink it. So I would have a very can uh, oil it and give you a taste. And do you leave the um, sticks on or do you like take the, take the leaves in? Yeah. Put the leaves in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very good. I'm going to hold it <laughs> so you can take it there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Don't Don't say hello, 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 so you would have that if you were feeling sick or you just have it to be healthy? Healthy and if you feeling um, sick, yeah, you can drink. I had fatty liver. Yeah. This took away all my fatness and that helped it. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um slide. Mm -hmm. We call it um the sandal tree. Yeah. 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 So um my niece makes oh, that the dream. We're taking it now for ourselves. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> and I don't know what made me look there. <laughs> morning. Well, we've um, a bit slow off the mark this morning, aren't we, honey? Dusty. Yeah, went to the pub last night and stayed a little bit too long. Had a late night, it was 9.30 when we got home. <laughs> Campsite out here at where are we? Burktown, and uh, we're right on the bank of the Albert River. So we left town and we drove, I don't know, a fair way, way out there, round over a salt plain to get out here. Um, yeah, Sean's taken the tinny off at the bank here and got it all ready. <clears throat> The tide's gone out heaps now when we got here it was up high so in the morning we'll get up and just Sean reckons it's just gonna pop straight in sure he's right he's pretty good like that 
and um, yeah so the winds died down a bit when we got here this morning it was freaking howling that's why we parked up over here because um the dust here all around here was just yeah whirly whirly so we backed up against the sort of grass it wasn't coming off that so hard and um yeah it's probably worked out all right so yeah well, anyway we're gonna have a beer and a bundy and cook a feed on the little campfire and get up early and go fishing tomorrow See you then. Sean's off to get some Guess what? Liveys. Oh, he took the tinny out today and he didn't have much luck. He's gonna go a long, long, long bloody way down the river to seem to get anything. Apparently this is the little honey hole. Yeah. Back down. It's like a crocodile hole to me. I tried to put the tinny in here yesterday, but we got neat tides, so you can see the water line there. Normally it comes up and we we're just gonna push it off the grass, but the next three or four days, the tide is, yeah, very small. Do you want a net? He's still on? Oh, what is that? Salmon. Yo! Bring her up this way, babe. Hell yeah, we caught a fish. Went out all fucking day in the tinny and didn't catch one. And then catch one on the bank. Nice work, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Nice. I'm very proud of Sean. He's using a bucket to get the water. However, I think it's because of the mud. The bucket doesn't break. Little live, eh? Mm. So you can jug the dead bait out, don't you? you can get... I'm gonna cook it on this little Osprey thing. So I just wrapped it in, um, what do you call it, baking paper and just put some ginger and soy sauce and bloody something else and something else. I can't even remember what I put on it. Bit of fish sauce. I was going to cook it like that. Then I wrapped it in foil just so that um, yeah, it doesn't burn and it should just steam in that. It would be good. Just trying to avoid doing dishes. <laughs> Well, day two, trying to catch this bloody barramundi here at Burke Town. We'll come down to this little creek. Got to drive about 10 minutes from our campsite to get to the boat ramp, which is okay. Um, going to get some, well, Sean's going to try to get some liveys. And, um, yeah. Anyway, we, a couple of fellas stopped at our camp last night on the way through and, um, yeah, they reckon they weren't getting too much either, so it doesn't make makes you feel a bit better, doesn't it? Oh my god, mullet freaking city. 
<laughs> well, we caught fish today, just not the ones we were chasing. Two liveys out now. Didn't do any good in the boat again today. Bit of a bugger. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, it is what it is. It's really windy. We're supposed to go down that way. But it's like 30 k's to the. I uh, know. Oh yeah, 30 k More to the so-called fishing spots and it's just too windy for us to get down there it's a really really wide river and yeah wind just bloody howls up it so. anyway we've got one more day left so we'll crack tomorrow big tinny mission today haven't we honey what have we is that all Felt like about friggin' a hundred in the tinny. Anyway, we've come down to, I'm not going to tell you where, on the Albert River. Anyway, it must be the spot to be. There's about six boats down here. And, um, yeah, friggin'. What? Jumped out my hand over the side. Oh, what? You must be nervous. Anyway, as per usual, we've got bloody everything. We've got poppers, lures, liveys. I'm going to chuck some dead bait over. And yeah, we'll see when we catch this big fish for the tinny hecticness. Now, it's just down there. And we've caught one queenie. Well, Kylie's caught another salmon. Let's grab the line, babe. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. We're 30k's down the friggin' river today. And we another one off the beach. Check on the grass here. <laughs> <laughs> well. do him. Eat him. <laughs> so we just caught this bad boy out the river and we're going to cook him on the coals. Sean's scaled him and gutted it and um, yeah we'll see how that goes. Just going to cook it on the grill. Put a bit of oil and a bit of um, well, this seasoning I got from the Palmy Markets on the Gold Coast. It's amazing. Anyway, we'll chuck him on the fire and see how it goes. Fish on. Yeah, like I'll give you a... <laughs> straight from the river into the fire. Yeah, it's cooked. It's all falling away. Got him? Yep. Alright, let's go eat. Is it good? 
We've got 90 second rice there. And yeah, there's our fish. Amazing. She's anyway. got 90 second fried rice. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, good night. <laughs> Oh, I've been to the Elba River for four days now and fished it on the neap tides and, and we caught one queenie and two salmon off the bank. Any consolation, there was a few old fellas at the boat ramp yesterday and they um been here, come in here for 20 years and they've never seen it like it, just getting nothing. Yeah. And now the big day is pack up day, which is probably the worst day of the lot. We got a The rat from Burke Town, and we're just gonna top up our water here before we head to um, I don't know, sort of heading to Hell's Gate today, but I don't think we'll make it because it's late out after lunch. So, apparently, there's a cute little camp at Dumaji, so we might stop there the night, the waterfall, and yeah, anyway. Not much out here at Burke Town. I see you later, Burke Town. Yeah, we didn't catch any fish. Well, we did actually. We got two salmon off the bank, and I got a queenie, but no barramundi. So yeah, keep trying. And um, uh, tell you what, people here are the loveliest people you've ever met. All the locals, they invite you to country and it's really, really nice. Stop and tell you the good campgrounds and the good fishing spots, just wish I could remember them all. Anyway. Later. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Coffee cup to go And I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion And my